Today's Thursday and we wish you a good day. May the blessing of the Lord rest upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that the Holy Spirit will open the eyes, open the heart of understanding. God, as people hear this word in our devotion today, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you feel lost, weary, sometimes empty? God, Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is calling you and waiting for you to come back and be reinstated as a child of God. Maybe you're hearing this for the very first time. God loves you, no matter your past. He promises to give rest to all who are weary and burdened. If you have your Bible, read Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 28 to 29. And to give peace instead of fear or troubled hearts. Look at John, chapter 14, verse 27. No one is perfect. We all have gone astray. But when you turn to God, He will guide you and provide for you a place of rest as He guides you in the paths of righteousness. The Lord will make you lie down in green pastures. He will lead you to calm and pleasant water. He will restore your soul. In verse 4 of Psalms 23, we find that David recognizes that at times he may find himself in the valley or in the shadow of death. At times, no matter the good choices you make, problems may come. Dark days can happen. Not of your own doing, no matter how faithful you are, things can happen that you have no control over, but we are not to fear. Why? Because the shepherd of your soul is with you. God is always in control. He is always there. As his name Jehovah Ra Shama, the Lord is there. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there, tells us no matter how out of control things appear, He is there, Jehovah Shammah. At times we need correction or prodding to keep us going forward spiritually. And sometimes we need to be rescued and pulled out of trouble. In all of these cases, even in times of correction, God does so out of love. God will use whatever it takes to get your attention but if you do not listen to God's voice and wander off, He may need to rescue and correct you all the more. Jesus will seek and call out to you, Are you listening? Do you live with a sense of spiritual blessing? Hmm, this is a good question to answer. All of us who know Jesus as Lord and Savior should. Because of Jesus, we have forgiveness of sin. Because of Jesus, we are blessed beyond measure. Because of Jesus, we have a hope and future. We have a heavenly home to look forward to. The blood of Christ sets us apart and indicates to everyone that we are His. Psalm 23 and verse 6 says it all. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Any correction, blessing or protection that you experience from the Lord in the present is never to harm you, but rather to provide you a future where you will be forever with the Lord. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, sent the Holy Spirit to be a comforter and to guide you in your spiritual journey. God, by His Holy Spirit, speaks to your heart through His Word in prayer, in quiet meditation and in song sometimes. God can send someone into your life to speak guidance with life and hope, to speak a word of caution and to point you back to God. Listen for the voice of God. Know the peace, the provision and protection of God. Live and walk in faith without fear. Trust the Lord to be Jehovah Rohi, the shepherd of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
in his presence forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for those who have listened in, and we pray your blessing, Lord, upon them. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the opportunity of sharing in Psalms 23, O Jehovah Rohi. And Lord, tomorrow as we come to a close, we pray your blessing, O Lord, upon those who will listen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.